Then if you hit this more button right here, you have cursor effects. For example, a click noise to be added to your presentation whenever you click the button. You can also change what the cursor looks like. And you also have voice narration, so you can come back here and do you know, a voiceover, which essentially is what you're doing the entire time that you're doing a screen recording. You have your voice narration and then you have your video. You can also record your camera here. So there I am if you wanted to add, you know, maybe a popover or something like that. You could add that easily right in here. You also have captions. So if you wanted to add, you know, your closed captioning or whatever else, you could add that here on the bottom. And then you also have quizzing, which is I've never used this or captions. What it does is it enables questions to be put on the screen um, so it's just kind of an easy way to do that again I recommend you keeping this simple as possible um, and that's going to get you the most ROI for your presentation all right so you'll also notice you don't have any cropping options um, really the only way to crop is to zoom the video in and kind of crop out what you need but you can see here this is what I was talking about before if you zoom this in it gets really blurry so that's why it's important to set that screen recording size at the size that you need and that's why I recommend that you do a full size recording and put your browser or whatever else you're showing as big as possible on there and then that will give you a high quality video that then you can scale down later you can see that this video is only 640 by 480 this is actually the final product it's an mp4 so you'll notice that Camtasia can also import mp4s but that's why it's so small is because that's what we exported it out if you need to add another screen recording you can add that here you can tap this button and then it will open up the toolbar again so then you can just go through here and record again and you can also import media you can add pictures you can add graphics you can add audio and you can add video so you can kind of see all the media files that they accept here it's pretty much your standard you know your jpegs your pings your mp3s your waves your avis all that kind of stuff essentially it will be able to open anything that you can open natively on windows so all of those file types is what it can open so you know let's say i want to open paper here i can pull that in and overlay it on top of my Camtasia presentation here just by clicking and dragging and then it throws it on top so there's my paper on top of my video and so that's how you import media and then finally what you want to do is you want to produce and share it and you have a couple of different options here you can see you have two share twos so you can actually upload this to YouTube if you go through here and you put in your YouTube credentials it will automatically optimize it for YouTube and go ahead and upload it for you as well you can add your description in there you can add all the information that you would be able to add on YouTube so it just kind of speeds up that process and then you also have this these two here are the most popular mp4 only and mp4 only low def you have HD and standard definition you also have what's called an mp4 with a video player and again you have hd and standard definition and what this does is this actually outputs for you a web page that then you can upload with this file so you could upload it to your ftp your you know your hosting server or whatever else so it enables you to do that quickly and easily so we're most of the time we're just going to be doing an mp4 because we're, we're going to be delivering it somewhere else but I, I want you to know that you do have those options there. Then you just hit next here. It'll ask you for a name. So we'll just do test. And then it's going to ask me where to save it. Organize, produce files into subfolders. What this does is so it doesn't get lost. It actually exports everything into its own folder. This is helpful for the web player. That's really what this is designed for. So then, you know, your video and your HTML file and all everything that goes along with that embed file is all in one folder so it's easy to upload and then you also have show production results and then play video after production so if you hit finish here it'll run through I'm gonna go ahead and let it run through here and I'll meet you on the other side all right so now the video is done and this is what it means by show the production results it'll just kind of show you you know your duration your size your dimensions all that kind of stuff you don't really need to worry about this the reason I always check this is so that I know a when it's done and B that everything went okay and so I'll just hit finish here and 
close out Camtasia and we're done. So that's as far as editing and recording and all that kind of stuff. That's really as simple as it gets as far as Camtasia goes. And you can kind of see what I was talking about before is Camtasia takes all the features that you need in an editing platform and a recording platform and strips out all the crud that you don't need and only has the stuff that you need to record, you know, a screen recording. It also has created new features like, you know, the callouts and made the zoom in the pan a lot easier to use. It's added fancy features like quizzing and captions again that I've never used. So, that's Camtasia. <laughs>